Mallory Weiss syndrome and Borhov syndrome. Mallory Weiss syndrome is the least severe. It's caused by forceful retching. It's a mucosal tear, and you have submucosal venous or arterial plexus bleeding. The signs and symptoms here are epigastric or back pain. You can have hematemesis, which is vomit that looks bright red or like coffee grounds. You can also have hypovolemia from losing some blood. Diagnosis is made with upper GI endoscopy, which confirms the diagnosis and can also treat persistent bleeding if you have any. The treatment here is acid suppression, and it mostly heals spontaneously, so you don't need much more intervention. In contrast, in Borhoff syndrome, it's more severe. You have also a cause by forceful retching, but you have a transmural tear. You have spillage of the esophageal air and fluid into the surrounding tissues, so you can have mediastinitis or stuff in the mediastinum. The signs and symptoms are chest, back, or epigastric pain. You can have crepitus on your physical exam, and you can even hear a crunching sound. This is called a Hammond sound. You can have odynophagia, dyspnea, fever, and sepsis. The diagnosis here is made with a few modalities. First, you might take a chest x-ray, where you'll see pneumothorax. You can also have pneumomediastinum, air in the mediastinum, and pleural effusion. The definitive diagnosis is made with esophagography or CT scan with water-soluble contrast, and that's what confirms the diagnosis. You don't want to use any other type of contrast but water-soluble because it can increase the inflammation in the mediastinum. Treatment here is with acid suppression, antibiotics, and do not let the patient eat, and it's an emergency surgical consultation for repair.